Hi guys, I'm Melanie. Thanks for tuning in today. So today we have something a little different. We are going to do some yoga poses with a chair. And we're not going to come down to the ground too much. So if you have joint pain and that it makes it hard to come down to the ground, this is probably good for you. Although you should talk to your doctor and make sure that you can do any of these poses before you do it. And of course, if you have any pain or anything, then pull out of a pose and just take a break or try something different. Okay, so you, I have a mat here, but you don't necessarily need one. It's a little bit more comfortable, but really, it's not totally necessary. So we're going to start with the chair. Take the chair and take a seat. So we're going to start with a breath exercise. So bring your feet about hip width apart or wherever they're comfortable, the hands to the thighs or into the lap. You can bring the right hand underneath the left with the thumbs touching. We're gonna let the shoulders sink down the back and we're gonna press lightly into the sit bones and raise the top of the head, lift the head towards the ceiling so that we have a really long, nice spine. And then you can close your eyes and just let the stomach get really soft. And then you can start to observe the breath. Notice how it flows into the stomach, lifting the stomach, flowing into the chest, lifting the chest. And with the exhale, how the chest sinks lightly, the stomach sinks. We're going to breathe in and out to a count of four. <clears throat> Make sure that your breath is really comfortable, that you're not having to have too much effort. And if you need to, you can shorten the, the rhythm of the breath or you can lengthen it. So exhale everything out. Take a deep inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Continue on, making sure each inhale and exhale is even. And making sure that you're breathing with ease. So if you have to give too much effort, then you can maybe think about going down to a count of three. Make sure your face is relaxed. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. And then after the next exhale, just let the counting go and breathe naturally. And then we'll slowly open the eyes. I think we're gonna be visited a lot by the cats today, so just warning. <laughs> and then we'll bring the hands to the thighs. Sit up tall, we're gonna do a light neck stretch. So bring your right hand to the right and let your left ear drop towards the left shoulder. Reach through the right fingertips. Feel a nice light stretch in the side of the neck. Then bring the right hand back to the right thigh. We'll go into the other side, stretching the left fingertips out, letting the right ear drop towards the right shoulder. Inhale. 
Inhale, coming back up. We're gonna bring the hands to the knees and do some cat-cow. So with your inhale, I want you to lift your chest, look up slightly for a slight back bend. And with your exhale, bring the chin towards the chest, round the spine. Inhale, lift, pulling the groins, the groin back, and exhale, round the spine, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, lift, exhale, get really round. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and the last one, exhale. Find the seated position again, sit up really long and tall. We're gonna twist to the right. So bring the right hand over to the back of the chair, left hand comes to the knee. We're gonna lift and twist to the right. So it's just a gentle twist here, just waking up the spine. Remember that for twists, it's really good if you have your back really long, your spine really long, and then twist. So make sure with the inhales, you're lifting, lengthening, and with the exhale, you're twisting from the belly button. Come back to the center. We're gonna move over to the other side. Inhale, lift. Bringing the hand to the back of the chair, right hand to the left knee. And a lift, long spine, exhale, twist. The breath is still even, deep. And then come back to center. We're gonna do a shoulder stretch. So bring out your arms in front of you. We're gonna wrap the arms, right comes underneath left, and then we can bring the back of the hands together or maybe the, the inner sides of the hands. And then we're gonna lift the elbows and bring the hands away from the face. And so you feel a really nice stretch between the shoulder blades. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can also bring the hands to the shoulders and lift the elbows and reach the elbows forward. And then stretch the arms back out again. This time, left comes under right. We wrap the arms, these are eagle arms. And then we lift the elbows, reach the hands away from the face. Again, you can do this with your hands on the shoulders by lifting the elbows and reaching the elbows forward. We tend to hold a lot of stress, a lot of tension in the shoulders, so it's nice to give them a good stretch in both directions. And then reach the hands back out, bring the hands to the knees, and we'll do some circles with the shoulders. So first forward, we'll bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears and forward, down and back making big circles. One more. And then the other direction, opening up the chest. One more circle. And then relax the shoulders. We're going to come to standing. So stand up, lift out of your chair. We're going to use the back of the chair. So turn the chair around. Bring the hands, the fingertips to the chair. The feet are about hip width apart and we're standing straight up. We're going to lift in the heels and come to the balls of the feet. And then we're gonna lower the feet back down. We're gonna do that 10 times with an inhale and exhale. So inhale, lift up in the heels. Exhale, bring the feet back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the feet flat on the ground. Five more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Make sure you're activating the whole legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. I might have miscounted, so we're going to do one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Okay, you can leave your hands on the chair if you'd like, or you can bring them to the side. Just take a break. Take a couple breaths. Feeling in the legs. Then we're gonna turn the chair around. You can bring the chair to a wall. Actually, I'd recommend that. I'm just gonna use my couch uh, just as a demonstration. So we want the chair to be secure where it is. Then we're going to come forward, bringing the hands to the chair and the right knee on top of the chair. You can put padding there if, you, if your knee is sensitive. We're going to step the left foot back and reach through that left heel. So make sure your neck is long. We're reaching through the back heel. If you need a little bit um, more intensity, you can move the foot back a little bit. Maybe your heel comes to the ground. Maybe it doesn't. Try to feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs. So really reach through that back heel. One more breath. And then scoot the back foot in. We'll step down with the right foot. Take a minute just to feel that in the legs. And then we'll switch the knees, bringing the left knee to the chair, stepping back with the right foot. Again, you can choose how, where you want to have the foot, where it works for you. Reach through the back heel. Feel the nice stretch in the calf and the back of the leg. One more breath here. And then step the back foot in. We're going to come down with the left foot and just take a minute to feel that in the legs. Stand up straight and tall, reaching the fingertips towards the mat. And then we're going to take a step back. We're going to come into a forward fold. So you can bring the hands to the chair, grab onto the sides of the chair just so you have some extra um, stability. And then we're going to pull the hips back. If you feel like your hips are going farther than the feet, you might want to take a step back with the feet. So you can pull back with the sit bones and forward with the hands. So we're reaching in opposite directions. And then we're going to let the head fall. And just feel that nice stretch in the upper back. All through the spine. Three more breaths. You can have the knee slightly bent. And then walk the feet forward. We're going to come slowly to standing. Just come to your Tadasana. You might need a minute. So now we're going to use the mat. You can move the chair a little bit out of the way. We're not going to need it, really. And again, if you don't have a mat, that's fine. You can just come to a flat surface. 
So we're going to start in a high lunge pose. So we're not gonna come too deep into the pose first of all because we wanna protect the knee joint. So try and see what, what works for you here. If you need to pull out at any time, please go ahead and do that. So we're gonna turn to the side, bring the right foot forward, left foot back. So we want the feet to be parallel and the hips to be in a line. We're gonna raise the back heel and bend the front knee. So if you see my knee, it's too far right now. It's beyond the ankle. So I'm gonna take a step back with the right foot. Yeah, and just come down to a place that feels good. Reaching the left heel back, the back knee can be a little bent too. Then we're gonna draw the arms out. If you feel a little wobbly, that might mean you need to widen up the stance. So bring the hands in front. Inhale, stretch the front leg, open up the heart. Exhale, bring the hands back together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. Three more, inhale, lift. And straighten, exhale, bring the hands back together. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we come back down. Bring the hands to the, the hips. We're gonna rotate the back heel to the mat so that the back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. We're gonna scoot the front foot in so that the front heel is in a line with the back arch. Then we're gonna stretch out the arms, bend in that front knee, Again, make sure there's no pain in the knee joint. We really just wanna work right here in the thigh, building up strength. Couple breaths. We're reaching through in both directions through the fingertips and trying to relax the shoulders. One more breath. And then bring the hands back to the hips. We're gonna rotate the right foot a bit inward, the left heel a bit inward. So we have the feet kind of pointing out, the heels pointing in. Make sure your knees are in a line with the feet. So if the knees are coming a lot more in, it might mean you wanna rotate your feet more towards the middle, or you might wanna shorten the stance. Just find the comfortable place where you can hang out for a minute and then stretch the legs. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. And exhale, sit low. The thighs are really active. Make sure you have no pain in the knees. We're pulling the thighs, the legs towards the middle. And you can imagine that you're pulling up on your pelvic floor. This is great for strengthening the pelvic floor. So keep your hands together. Breathe. Three more breaths, it can get pretty fiery. Try to breathe through it. One more breath. And stretch those legs. Ah. You might wanna shake them out. We're gonna turn over and go into warrior two, so the reverse way on the other side. Make sure the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. The front foot, the front heel is in a line with the back arch. And then you can bend the knee. Again, we want it to come over the ankle. It doesn't matter how long or short your stance is. And then reach your arms out. Try to keep the shoulders over the hips. Make sure you're balanced and stable. And then we're gonna pull back with the right hip side and look forward to make sure that we can see the big toe. Because the knee has a tendency to come in. We wanna pull it back, we see the big toe. And we stay here for two more breaths.
and then straighten the front leg, bring the hands to the hips. We're gonna scoot the left foot out now towards the left. Lift the right heel. So the feet are parallel and hip width apart. We wanna have a really stable, solid base. Then you can bend in the front knee and press the right heel back. Reach the arms out, draw the shoulders on the back. Inhale, stretch in the front leg, lift, open the hands, open the chest. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, stretch and lift. Exhale, come back down. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down. One more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, come back down. Hands to hips, stretch that front leg. Rotate the feet in. We're gonna heel toe the feet together. Whew. And maybe shake out the legs a little bit. It's definitely a workout for the thighs, for the groin. Yeah, and then we'll just bring the feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Bend your knees, bring the hands to the hips. And we'll just do some circles with the hips. You can close your eyes here if you want to. Just following the breath. And then in the other direction. You can let the head follow. And then come slowly back into standing. We're gonna come into the last pose, tree pose. So you can come next to a wall if you have any issues with balancing. We're gonna start with um, bringing the weight into the left foot and really feeling the left foot grounded into the mat. You can bring your right heel to the ankle. And if you feel okay here and you wanna explore, you can bring the right foot up to the calf. You can even bring it farther up to the inner thigh. I'm going to stay here for today. You can bring your hands up into the middle of the chest, pressing the palms together, opening up the chest. And then find a point on the ground or on the wall, some point that's not moving, and just breathe. Try to stay really relaxed in the face, in the shoulders, in the jaw. One more breath. And then let the right foot come down. We'll switch sides, bringing the weight into the right leg, pressing the right foot into the mat, and bringing the left heel to the right ankle. Possibly exploring, bringing the left foot up to the calf or to the upper inner thigh. Then we'll bring the hands together, find that point again, and soften the breath. Tree pose is really great for the ankles, for the feet, and just for your body's own perception of where it is in space. One more breath. And then let the left foot come down to the mat. Bring your hands to your sides. We'll just come into Tadasana, mountain pose, with the hands at the sides, palms facing forward, really open chest, really active legs, reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling, and maybe closing the eyes or softening the gaze. We'll just take a couple of breaths here, observing the body, scanning through the body, and noticing if we feel any different, Noticing the breath, possibly noticing the heart beating. And 
And then open your eyes, bring your hands back to the center of the chest, bow your head, and thank yourself for making the time today to do some yoga and to do something good for yourself. Thanks again, and I hope you have a great afternoon, a great day. Namaste.